Bonjour, bienvenue à ma chère YouTube. Mon nom est Rishika. So guys, yes, that's my big secret. I can speak French. And that too pretty fluently as you saw. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? You definitely saw through it. But anyways, welcome to this video and back to my YouTube channel. Right? I am trilingual. I can speak Marathi, Bengali, English and Hindi and I'm learning Sanskrit as a third language in my school which I cannot really speak but I can read it. And well, I know all these languages probably since the time I've been eating Vita Mari. Languages is what today's video is about. Yes, I mean, I like these four languages. Now, studies and online articles and stuff say that when you are bilingual or trilingual or quadrilingual or multilingual, you just are naturally smart. But honestly, I don't think that's that big a deal. I mean, I would never brag about speaking four. I languages. can speak four languages. What can you do? You cannot even speak one. Ah, well, sometimes. Oh, never except for any YouTube video. So, well, if you are thinking, oh, speaking so many languages must be so cool. Let's discuss some struggles of knowing so many languages. Here they are. The struggles of being bilingual. Number one, you have a designated language for everyone and everything you talk to. So it's like dad, Bengali, mom, Marathi, certain group of friends, English, certain group of friends, Hindi. Teachers, English, Hindi teacher, Hindi, cousins, Marathi slash Bengali. An awkward moment that people who can speak many languages have to face is speaking to somebody in the wrong language. So if ever it were to happen that all of these people are gathered in the same room, you wouldn't know which language to speak in. It happens to me, okay, on birthday parties, okay, I'll speak half sentence in English, then I'll switch to Hindi and then I'll suddenly start speaking in Bengali and some people won't understand and then, whoa, it's confusing. Number two, you are not really good at any one language. Like your vocabulary in every language is kind of like 50-50 uh, kacha pakka. Koi ek language tumse dhang se boli nahi jati. Number three, sometimes you'll be speaking to somebody and out of the blue, you'll just go blank about what a certain word is called in that certain language that you're speaking up at the current moment. And you will say that one word in that other language and you have to explain what's that. And food was like so good over there. What did you have for dinner last night? Oh mom, my mom made um, chingri match. Pata hai na kya hota hai wo? Kya kehte usse in the English mein? Arey yar. Number four. When people know that you can speak these languages, they demand that you say something. <laughs> Just burp da. Four. When people know that you speak these languages, they demand that you speak something in this language. They be like, Oh, tujhe Bengali aati hai. Kuch bol ke to dikha. Say something now. Nah. And yeah, one more struggle of being bilingual is when people are like, can you teach me this language? So it's like, if you ask me to teach you Sanskrit, I can teach you Sanskrit, but I cannot teach you Marathi or Bengali because those are some languages even I have not been taught. It's just something came naturally because, um, 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 what is the word? Um, I guess culture. It obviously isn't that bad. There are also some good things about being bilingual. Here are perks of being bilingual. Number one, you can always talk secretly without risking other people would understand you. Oh sir, these, these are the new arrivals. This one is just 1700. Okay. Hey, chado, no, dekhi. no sir, no sir, don't leave sir, we have more offers. Are, no, no, we are not talking about leaving. Are, ekhane, dekho, bol chalu, offer aache, ek bar, dekhe nahi ta badi. Anamar muna, ekhane, dekhe, chala hi bhalo, unno jai gai dekhi. Achha, thik achha. One more thing, sometimes when you know so many languages, people be like, which language do you think in? Oh my god. One more great struggle of being bilingual is shifting between the languages. It's sometimes some phrases don't go well in the language. And yeah, I know these four languages, like, for some reason, all the good jokes, like, the funny jokes and everything that is related to humor is in Hindi or Bengali, English or Marathi. Mein koi jokes hoti hi nahi hai. Like I cannot crack a joke in English, seriously. But jokes are reserved for Hindi. Speeches and intelligent stuff is reserved for English. And now that we are on this topic, let us talk about how funny the Hindi language is. For example, let's say there's a man 
called Robert and he's crippled. Obviously don't think that is something funny you are like oh that he's crippled and that's a bad thing you feel bad for Robert. Uh -huh. But I say the same thing in Hindi. Ek banda hai uska naam Robert hai aur wo langda hai. Irrespective of what it means it just sounds funny right? Robert langda hai. Hindi can also be a really really complex and serious language at times. Like I would I'll say the same sentence. Ek prani hai Robert wo apahij hai. You see the difference? It is a pretty confusing language. Yeah, so where was I? I just lost track of what I was saying. What I was saying is that humor is not same in all the languages and then when you want to be funny, you cannot be funny. Sometimes you know what you want to say, but you cannot say it in the language you're speaking at at the current moment. Hey, humor is complicated. So if you didn't know what being multilingual is like, now you know. It's really weird. But I guess that was what the video was about, me talking about being multilingual. I know this wasn't much of a great video and I just went for it and it was unscripted but I had to upload today. I don't want to be called the bad YouTuber. Thank you for watching anyways. And Kim Twam like Karishasi. Kim Twam subscribe Karishasi. Um, um. Anyways, I'll see you next week and zoo.